How y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? How y'all doing? It's your brother, Bolo for you now. We in the building, man. We in the building, man. Shout out to Joanne Sinclair in the building. All right, Lenford Wilson, thank you. All 47 people watching, that's all I ask, bro. Just hit the like button. So, let's get into the content, ladies and gentlemen. Is number 28 innocent? No, this is this is this is a legit question. Is he innocent? We're gonna explore that thought because I think you know you gotta look at his side and you gotta look at the people's side. So I've been knocking on the people's side, right? I've been knocking boom, 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 boom. And now it's time to really look at his side. Is Andrew Holness innocent? Or or is this prophecy fulfilled, right? What can go so... And Jonas must resign. He still has to resign, but the way it's looking, eh. But let's explore. Let's really look into things, right? And I want you guys to keep an open mind. Richie Viva said, hmm. <laughs> hey, Richie. <laughs> Just me. I don't love that. You're going to love that live stream, man. Trust me. <laughs> You're going to love this live stream. Let's listen to... um. This is the Mr. Patterson. All right? He's the... He's the... He's the, the president of the UIC. I shout out to... Um, shout out to, to Talk My TV. I could not get this full clip anywhere else. Listen to this. Uh, this is a, one of the... Um, the most if not the best investigative journalist in a Jamaica in to me, we feel like the best in the Caribbean. So hats off to them for the excellent work they're doing. Uh, today I want to, to just read you what they're saying in this email and to see I'm going to make hear from I don't know the man named Joseph Patterson the UIC president Yeah, may have something with him saying because 18 degrees not email Joseph Patterson and some developing story about what take place with Andrew Holness. So more want to hear what Joseph, Joseph Patterson I say about the email I received from 18 Degrees Not. And I don't keep it to myself here, like and share. So I want to hear this. I just received an email from um, 18 Degrees North. Uh, this is a, one of the, um, the most, if not the best, investigative journalist in a Jamaica in to me we feel like she's the best in the Caribbean so hats off to them for the excellent work they're doing uh, today I want to, to just read you what they're saying in this email and to see if we could put some context around it um, it says here the title Jamaica's Prime Minister Andrew Holness not charged over false asset declaration allegations but questions remain about illicit enrichment and this is by Zara Burton. Uh, many of you might know her. And it's dated September 18, which is today. Um, it says, Jamaica's Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, has avoided prosecution over what the Integrity Commission's Director of Investigation, DI, called false statements in his asset declarations. However, the question of illicit enrichment remains. In a ruling released Tuesday by the Parliament, the Commission's Director of Corruption Prosecution, Keisha Prince Amika, declined to charge PM Holness on the basis that it would be a challenge to establish that the omission of the four bank accounts linked to his father, mother, and a former constituency office worker, that his name was also on, was intentional. However, Prime Minister Holness may not be fully in the clear. In a 177-page investigation report, also tabled in Parliament on Tuesday, the Commission's DI, that's Director of Investigation, Kevin Stevenson recommended that further allegations, or rather further investigations, be carried out by the Financial Investigation Division, FID, and the Tax Administration of Jamaica, TAJ, into certain aspects of his report. Mr. Stevenson said, in addition to what appears to be unexplained growth in the Prime Minister's net worth of around 1.9 million, the equivalent is 12,650 USD, stemming from the 2022 period, there were questions surrounding the use of funds in 2019 by Positive Jamaica Foundation, a non-profit 
of which P.M. Holness was a director then, and about which 18 degrees north has reported extensively. Now, what does this mean for us? Well, clearly, according to the Integrity Commission, uh, the Prime Minister has made false declaration. That's the first thing. Now, if you make a false declaration, that is um, something to be prosecuted. Yeah. Uh, however, what I'm hearing here is that the uh, what is being said here by the Director of Corruption Prosecution, uh, Miss Prince Amika, uh, she has declined to charge the PM on the basis that it would be a challenge to establish that the omission of the four bank accounts linked to his father, mother, and a former constituency office worker that his name is also on was intentional. All right. When we break the law, intentional or otherwise, do we get off the hook? So you run a red light unintentionally and you go to court and say it was unintentional. Does that um, qualify as you not to pay the fine or go to jail? I don't think so. So if the Prime Minister failed to declare his assets and it was unintentional for him to do so, let him defend it in court. Of course. Let us have the prosecution go forward and let the prosecutor present what evidence they have and the defendant present what he has. But at the end of the day, I don't think the matter is whether it's intentional or unintentional. It is about whether he broke the law or not. Or not. The Prime Minister has been very heavy-handed against anyone who he thinks has broken the law. any law that he wants to take up. He didn't say whether the person who broke the law did so intentional or not. He didn't provide any any um, escape route. He just said the brick broke the law right and it bring down a heavy hand on them. So if the Prime Minister um, made false statements in his declaration, then they're false. And it should be prosecuted. Now this makes the Integrity Commission look really so up weak. If you're going to create this amount of hysteria in uh, our society and um, talk about illicit enrichment by one, two, three, five, six, eight, however many persons. I think it's best that you keep these things quiet until you are ready to reveal them and then you do so with the utmost of completeness in your work, integrity in your work, and then pursue it rather than create a, a drama for the nation. We don't need the drama, um, nor do we need for anybody's reputation to be tarnished unjustly or un unnecessarily. So I'm not here to badger the Prime Minister. I don't know whether he's guilty of anything or not. But according to this report, it says here that the Prime Minister made false statements in his asset declaration. It also noted that the Prime Minister is unable to explain the increase in his net worth. Now, honestly, $1.9 million is not a whole lot of money in Jamaica's context for, for fairly wealthy people like the Prime Minister is. But for the rest of us, of course, that's significant. But if you think that he has unexplained increases to his net worth of nearly $2 million or 12650 USD, I don't think you should be referring anything to the, you know, referring this to the, um, to the FID Financial Investigations Division or the TAJ, uh, Tax Administration of Jamaica. What you should do is to properly investigate and prosecute. By doing this, though, you're wasting our time. You're delaying, and justice delayed is justice denied. You know, if conditions were better right now, the Prime Minister would have called the election a long time, and we would have had an election called, and he would have won or lost. With <laughs> and here we are, now in nearing the end of 2024, and the election is looming, and we're going to have all of this. Let's be fair to the Prime Minister. We don't know if he's really guilty of anything. You're not, you're innocent until proven guilty. But if the Integrity Commission continues to delay in getting its job done and moving to prosecution, then we're not getting the answers that we need. Just like that. So I would like to suggest that the Integrity Commission stop dilly-dallying around and stop giving us half-cooked food, half-baked bread, and give us the full thing. Do a, job, did you say? a complete job and give us a full report and prosecute. And let the Prime Minister go to court and defend himself. Right now he has me in court for the last three years. For having yeah, challenged him on his attempt to mandate an injection and violate the rights of the Jamaican people. 
And I have to be in court. I am being prosecuted. He never say, well, it was a peaceful demonstration. He sent these people after me and they arrested me. And they, they tried to hold me without bail. And they have since been dragging me through court, wasting my time and money. And I have to pay the price for him applying the law the way he does. So I'm calling upon the Integrity Commission to apply the law to the fullest extent to the Prime Minister. Prosecute him for what he has done and do so swiftly so we can get the result and see if the man is innocent or guilty. Just like but that. don't waste any more of taxpayers' money and time telling us about all of this without doing anything. Do something. Prosecute. Prosecute. Prosecute now. Prosecute now. We are called upon the Integrity Commission to prosecute now. Prosecute. Now tell me what y'all think about that. We got a hundred people in the building. Like and share the video. We should have a hundred likes. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is still in court. Can you that's that's the part of it that got me the most. Andrew Holness has Mr. Patterson in court for protesting against their their draconian system. In, in, in the pandemic where they were coercing, bribing people to take the joke. And the man had a peaceful protest and they, they locked him up. He got bail and I can't believe he is still in court today for that foolishness. This is the judicial system in Jamaica. However, the prime minister got all of these things looming about him. And somebody in the integrity commission, um, what I remember what her name is. Talking about there's not enough to prosecute. Come on, man. I'm going to show you that it's enough to prosecute. I'm going to show you that it's enough to take this man to court and let him prove himself, just like what Mr. Patterson said. Period. Let's go in it. Let's go to the next clip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This shit crazy, bro. This shit crazy. Let's go to the next clip. Let's hear um Let's hear from, yeah, let me go to this. No, 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 no. Let's go to TikTok. Let's go to TikTok. Let's go to TikTok. Let's hear some of, the, some of the recommendations of the people, man. Let's hear some of the recommendations of the people. Yeah, so in my opinion, Mr. Patterson is absolutely right. The prime minister needs to be taken to court. They need to go through the process. A, 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 um, if it was anybody else, they would be prosecuted. So show the Jamaican people that nobody is above the law, because what y'all are showing us right now is that y'all are giving the prime minister preferential treatment. He's above the law, in my opinion, at this point, Mr. Patterson made an excellent argument, excellent, excellent. It doesn't matter who it is. If y'all don't set the example right now, our democracy is in trouble. What you're telling us is that Antonis is a dictator. That's what I'm reading from this. If he's not, if he's not taken to court for this, that means he's above the law and he's a dictator. He run everything. Nobody can touch him. But everybody else can go to prison. This person can go there for this. Even simpler than that, they can be go, going to, to, to court. I mean, people was locked up for freaking... For freaking not wearing masks. People was locked up for this and that in the pandemic. They had to pay all this money. But this man have all of this thing looming around him. And mom's the word. We got to go to a next entity to investigate. Now I'm finding out Nigel Clark is involved in the FID. I don't trust that no more. I don't know about y'all, but I don't. Prosecute. Period. Take the man to court. And... You know what? Even even the, the DPP, man, Jamaica needs an overhaul. Lord have mercy. My head hurts. The more I think about it, this is all set up, in my opinion, for this man to just do whatever he wants and get away with it. Because I don't trust the DPP. I don't trust the court system. Period. I don't trust none of that. I don't trust the judicial system. I don't trust none of that. Right? This is set up, man, I'm trying to tell you. The worst might happen ladies and gentlemen and i don't want it to happen honestly but tell me what y'all think tell me what y'all think in the comment section man 